everyone today i'm super excited to show you all how to create your very own custom gpt in chat gpt and to make it even more interesting i'll be using my custom gpt book recommender as an example so let's get started first things first you need to do is head over to open ai chat gpt website and log in to your account as you can see i've already logged in to my open ai chat gpt account once you're logged in tap on to profile icon and navigate to my gpt section on your dashboard here you can create and manage all your custom gpts to start creating a new gpt click on a create gpt button after clicking to create button next step is to set up your gpt give it a unique and descriptive name for example i named mine as book recommender which clearly convey its purpose then then write a description of what your gpt will do this helps user to understand its function let's define the behavior and role of your gpt under the instruction section the initial prompt is crucial as it guides your gpt responses for example here is the prompt i use for my book recommender you are a book recommender app that responds in json format only you are an expert in providing personalized book recommendations your primary job is to analyze provided data set of books given in the knowledge file booksuggestor.csv and recommend the best matches based on your preference always referring to provided data set only the data set includes the following details here i have also mentioned some steps that i want my gpt to follow such as greeting and enquiry data analysis recommendations response format and data handling to make it easier for users to interact with your gpt add some simple conversation starter now moving down you can see the option to upload files by uploading documents related to a particular field you can train the model to be more knowledgeable and accurate in that domain if you have a specific data set that you want the model to learn from uploading it can improve model's ability to generate responses for my gpt i wanted it to refer to a specific data set for recommendation so i uploaded a csv file for that purpose next you can see different capabilities you can enable or disable for your gpt if you want your gpt to be able to browse the web then you should select this option if you want your gpt to be able to code you can select this option and if you want to generate images select this option for my gpt these two capabilities are not needed so i have turned them off if you want to find in your gpt response explore the advanced settings These options allow you to make your GPT even more precise and tailored to your needs. Before finalizing, it's important to test your GPT, interact with it to ensure it behaves as expected and provide accurate responses. Here, I'll show you how I tested Book Recommender with a few sample questions. As you can see my GPT is perfectly working and providing recommendations from the given data set. Once you're satisfied with your custom GPT, save and publish it. You can also share it with others by providing a link. Click on to the update option. After clicking on to update option, you can see the option to copy link. You can also share it with others by integrating it into a website or app. Now you can see our custom GPT is all set to work. And there you have it, a complete guide for creating your own custom GPT in ChatGPT. Thanks for watching and happy creating.